The locals celebrate the goddess Tabor festival, including a procession, on the 11th and 12th days of lunar March every year. The procession is rich in values and show off clearly interactions between Vietnamese and Khm cultures, specifically the goddess worship. For example, the master of rituals wears traditional costumes that carry many features of Vietnamese clothing, while the procession bears traditional features of Khm culture. As part of the ceremonial part, the traditional water procession and other important rituals are conducted in the middle of the village. The cow is the holy animal of the festival. It is said that the goddess used to turn herself into a cow to give help to the villagers. The villagers had an extremely bad harvest that year. That is why they decided to celebrate the festival in a simple way. Amazingly, the cow appeared in front of the communal house. The cow has a string of 3,000 coins hanging on its horns. After they took coins, the cow moved towards the My Son Sanctuary. The festival part gets exciting with many activities like bike or singing contest and cooking contest featuring many local specialties, especially quang noodle. The rowing race features teams from districts along the Tabong River. Like Dian Ban, Dui Chu Yen, Dai Lok and Q Yui Sun attracts a large number of viewers and create an electric atmosphere. From the rivers and estuaries, they sail the boat to the sea and set up the busiest sea trade route of times. Precious vestiges of war and seaport are now kept at the Museum of Trading Ceramics. No.80 Tranpu Street, Wa and City. The museum preserves over 430 objects dating from the 8th to the 18th centuries. And originating from the Middle East, China, Japan, Thailand and Vietnam. On display at the museum are ceramic pieces found in Wuhan, which prove that a sea trade route passed through this area in the previous centuries. When the Wuhan seaport was still a bustling trade center for merchant vessels. From the Orient and the West, from Asia and Europe. Under the influence of Hinduism, can people consider the mountain as father and the river as mother? Therefore, common Vietnamese people living along estuaries in the central region worship goddesses. Myths and legends of goddesses have been told up to now. The Tabong River, which winds its way through Wa and City, Quang name, has taken on a very important position in life of Khm people since the 4th century. It was the main way to transport goods from highlands to lowlands and coastal areas. It played a significant role in the waterway trade network of the principal of Amavdi. It was also called a salt route because many salt-making villages were located along it. 
In ancient Qum language, the river was called Mahadani, which means holy river, symbolizing Ganga, Shiva wife. She is the goddess of the river Ganges, in India. A holy river that wipes out people's sins and saves them from sufferings. Through interactions with Hindu culture and goddess worship, can people got Ganga linked to the Tabal River, their holy river. Another legend of the goddess of the river had it that goddess Tabal was known as Lady Bobo, a general in the La dynasty. While being chased by the enemy, she fell from her horse in Tabal village because her hair wound around the horse legs. Then she was killed. Kings of the Nguyen dynasty conferred the title Supreme Goddess on her. In this way, mysterious but beautiful legends of the Mother Goddess of the Kingdom have been told for good and she has always been a symbol of beauty and desire for peace. With geographical significance, the Tabal River has been identified with the Mother Goddess of the Kingdom, who took great care of the material and spiritual life of local people. The river never runs dry. People never stop putting their trust in goddesses. It is true to come people who believe that their goddesses stay with them. For good and protect them. The question is when can people started practicing the goddess worship? Going back in time, we visit the mysterious My Sun Sanctuary. In the valley in Dui Pu Commune, Dui Chua Yen District, Quang Nam Province. The cluster of Kum Towers were built in the 4th century. Thousands of years have gone by. Through many ups and downs, this ancient beauty has never fallen into oblivion. And the beauty of goddesses has been engraved deeply in our heart and mind. The earliest stele of Kham people says that the goddess worship was first practiced in the 4th century. This large sandstone picture found in the My Sun Sanctuary depicts Goddess Dugga and her family. Through carving strokes, we can feel her majesty, power and appeal when she is defeating Satan. Goddess Dugga is a symbol of victory of the good over the evil. According to researchers, the Kham goddess worship strictly follows the Yin Yang philosophy, in which goddesses play a very important role in their spiritual life. 
under the great influence of Hinduism and Brahmanism. Most of the goddesses were named after characters in Indian legends and epics, like Ganga, Uma, Duga and Devi. Some sculptures of the goddesses of great cultural and historical significance are now kept at the Da Nang Museum of Kham Sculpture. Such as Tara Bodhisattva and Yang Natri, Apsara, dancers, that have gentle and pure beauty. Remarkably, under the influence of Hinduism, the statues of goddesses have female faces and embrace the cult of fecundity. This stone altar pedestal is now on display at the Da Nang Museum of Kham Sculpture. When it comes to Kham goddess worship, we cannot but mention a goddess who is considered as a supreme goddess. Kham people attach much importance to the mother goddess worship. They honor goddess Theon Wyana as holy mother of the kingdom. She is goddess Pio in Unaga. She was sent to the earth to create the world. She taught humans to grow crops and weave fabric. She invented the champa flower and tilois wood. She incarnated cloud in the sky and sponge in the sea. She traveled everywhere and ruled the whole kingdom. She was the Holy Mother of the Mothers of Champa Kingdom. Built in 784 AD, the complex of Pio in Yunagadawas now stays imposing. In Natrang, Kanho. The Pio Naga festival is celebrated annually during the 21st-23rd days of Lunar March. To welcome those who turn their mind towards the Holy Mother and want to pay tribute to her. It can be said that the goddess worship of Kham people bears many striking features. Over the past centuries, this practice has experienced interactions with Vietnamese culture. Most typical interactions between the goddess worship of Kham people and that of Vietnamese people are found in Goddess Khu Trung Temple. According to a stele inscribed with ancient Kham and Sanskrit characters in 899 AD, preserved at the Da Nang Museum of Kham Sculpture, earlier, in the place where nowadays Goddess Khu Trung Temple in Kamla district, Dinang City, stands, there were an ancient Kham well and a temple. 
Some Kham sculptures were combined with structures of the Vietnamese to make a place of worship for goddess Khu Trung. Taking a closer look, we can recognize similarities in the clothing of the goddess and traditional costumes of Vietnamese goddesses, like the Mandarin's bonnet which looks graceful with diverse colors and decorative patterns. After a long period of time of socio-economic and cultural exchange between Vietnamese and Khmer people, goddesses have been honored in a diverse manner, while keeping striking features of Vietnamese and Khmer cultures. Every story, legend and myth of Khmer goddesses leaves a lasting impression. The goddesses stay unaffected by time in the land of wind and sand, and contribute to enriching identity of Vietnamese culture. <laughs>